I gotta make sure I don't look like a total milk dud because of how fat I got. And look at the milkers. God damn it! Five, four. Wait, I'm five four and I don't even have the ship pulled up. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh wow. Listen up, you cute little pooch. This is shot 30 under the best. And this Christmas Eve, they'll be banging on the chest. Check it out. Yeah, it's Shane. Chilling with Gooch. Tickle us, cause we're a little pooch. Oh. I was gonna say we were gonna drink some hooch. Damn it. Ooh, and this is Shot loose. 30. And I am Shane Newbert, and I'm here with the coveted, the beautiful, the lovely Mr. Heath Rakestraw. But he goes by Gooch. Hello, everybody. There he is. How are you, buddy? I'm so happy. I'm, I'm doing great, Shane. I'm, I'm blessed, blessed to be here, honestly. I'm blessed I'm, to have you here. I'm wiggling inside. Dude, I'm wiggling too. And I've been trying to get Gooch on for a while. And just know I'm going to call him Gooch. If he wants to explain his nickname, that's up to him. Well, uh, yeah, I guess I go ahead and we'll do that. Uh, Gooch, I got that nickname from Jackass. Everybody knows Jackass, Johnny Knoxville, Bam Margera, all that stuff. We used to reenact that back in the day, and uh, the name kind of stuck because I, I boxed my cousin on roller blades, and this was like initiation. People did these like little things oh, yeah, to, to get in the little group or whatever, or whatever we were doing back in the day to be Bam Margera or be Johnny Knoxville, and uh, I ended up getting knocked right right in between my nutsacks. So. And you know that they're they're doing a comeback? Did you see that today? Uh <laughs> Jackass, I did not. Yeah, they just announced that they're doing a comeback. Oh, nice. Um, so I, I miss those guys big time. So yeah, everybody knows the rules here on Shot Thirty. Every beautiful first guest has to take a shot. So I've lined you up there. If you need a chaser, I left your little crystal light packet what because the... I like to accommodate the guest and a water. Pink lemonade. I don't even know. What, yeah. what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, well, I mean, you would pour it in the water if you need a oh, chaser. Okay, if you... Okay. I, I was like, what? <laughs> this is am some I weird... supposed to put on my hand and tongue? Am I supposed to boof it or snort it? Snort or what's it. going on here? <laughs> and so, yeah, buddy. This one's to you. I just want to finish that story real quick, too. Uh, oh, shit, it wasn't all I, Well, I, I got kicked in the nuts, and that's where it ended. Oh, God. You know, like, I, I just got kicked in the nuts. That's why they call me Goose. I no, completely uh, ended you there. Um, so my aunt was the principal of the high school, and uh, we'll finish this. Oh, oh. Ooh, boy. Yeah, they'll get you. Those weird, the weird-shaped bottles. But your aunt... Go, 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 go. So she was the principal of the high school, and she heard about me uh, talking about me getting kicked in my gooch. Well, she's surprised that I was in junior high and knew what the hell a gooch was. And she told all the teachers. The teachers told all the students. Uh, the students were in the high school, and I was walking down, and they started saying, Oh, there's gooch. Oh, there's gooch. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I didn't want to practice for basketball because I like, Coach, my gooch is bleeding. So after that, just enough that, that it rubbed and stuck. And Dude, I li but it's, it's awesome. It actually was two years before I knew your actual name was Heath. <laughs> like, a lot of people still like stumble. They'll come up to me like, Gooch, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like you have the brain fart of like never saying my name. Like, I've introduced myself as Heath and Gooch. And I don't know, it's different with everybody. Do you, in, really. in your adult life, do you still go by Gooch? Uh, my homies, my friends, there's certain people that know me as Gooch, and I don't think they'll ever forget, you know, the part of me growing up and that name, so. It lives on. I, I tell people Heath, it's much more proper. Like, yeah, 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 like when you're, all, you know, <laughs> your head, like, I don't, I don't know, like. I don't want to spook an old elderly lady, like, oh, what's your name, kind sir? <laughs> Our Gooch. It's better than your nickname being Taint. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, that, that, they go like, oh, little Gooch. My, my grandma used to actually call me uh, her little Gucci Goose. Oh, so. that's cute, too. Yeah. So, yeah, we are going to talk about all kinds of things. I think our wave sounds super good. For the first time, you're the actual person who is like, 
We so show, wavy. Yeah, I mean, so you're at you're up. You look there. good. I'm a projectile talker. You've heard of the vomiter. I I'm like. I'm just spitting it into the mic. That's why we put these little pop filters on. I'm like a little trash, like comes on my mouth and I try to recycle it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I just end up vomiting. Re- reading, you're like regurgitating, like you're a mother bird. Mm-hmm. And I, and I would love for you to be my mother bird. Well, I'll see what I can do. You know, I'll see what kind of words I can. <laughs> Maybe we'll eat up. some of the hot sauces and see what oh, we can do. Oh Jesus! Have you ever heard of the Death Nut Challenge? Um, yeah, but it's it will never it'll never be. You don't want to do it with me, then? Oh, I'll, I'll absolutely. Um, but I like I just don't. Nothing compares to the Reaper that I ate from the hottest farm in the world. The it's, pepper in the natural state is always going to be. Yeah, it was unreal. Se- things seizing up. We at the Christmas party, we actually made hot sauce. I mixed Mad Dog three fifty seven, which is three hundred fifty seven thousand Scoville units, the Bomb Behind Insanity, which is is just putrid. And then a uh, white vinegared habanero. What? Okay. So, so vinegar obviously is to like make you feel sane for a second. It, and then I mixed it together with a little salsa. <laughs> and you see, you're getting like a bang from every single hot pepper category. Yeah. You're, you're just, oh my God. I just realized something. Yeah. This is episode 31. 31? That's pretty, uh, pretty epic actually dude that means something that does mean something do 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 you dude. explain or do no dude um, <laughs> or should we just leave it out for um him? so, so the, the number system, system is kind of just how many people there are in the party is the first number and then the latter of the two being uh usually the female i mean I, you could use it in both situations you know i guess since we're i'm interested in mostly females I, i'd be like Oh, 31. What do you mean mostly? <laughs> uh, just because I, I always keep it open, dude. Because uh, you can find a chick that is... I, I've actually come across this. I swear to you. In real life, this chick, we were at a club, we'll say, me and the old Timaria. But uh, we, were in a, we were in a club, and there was this woman, and she was beautiful. I was buying her drinks. She went into the men's bathroom. And boy, oh boy, was I in for a sight. Oh boy. Because there was a big old swing and dang and hanging right so there. Big, big uh, I should rap that song at the karaoke dang. party here. But uh, yeah, so you, you, there's always that opportunity, I guess. Yeah, I, I just said it mostly just because I, I agree with the culture that's going on, like the movement, and I like to keep everybody, uh, like, you know, all. Everything open. It, what, I've, I've never, never been, been never been invested in another another man. Or yeah, like that. It, I I just have I really I really don't waste my time with opinions on things that if if a woman wants to eat another woman, that's uh, I. Are you happy? Because if you're happy, I'm so happy for you. I don't. I, I could care less. I could care less any what anybody thinks or does, as long as it's not hurting somebody. Sure. If if I mean clearly, if somebody puts a twelve inch dick in my ass, well, just, it might hurt everybody's me. Everybody's different. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's yeah. different. So and, what I said mostly is because like even at, in, in, oh, in I my stance, like from me to you, like me knowing you growing up, like. We would probably just say the girl will be the the, the second number of the ladder. So it's mostly usually women. I'm so like, sorry for turning this. I, mean, I, t- I attacked. I personally attacked you. It's okay. Well, you body shame my titty. I don't mind it. Dude. You I, body uh, shame my titty earlier. I appreciate when uh, appreciate when like gay men uh, hit on me. Oh, uh, dude, I'll kiss them. I might even no, I might even I've, blow I've them if they're nice dudes. enough. I've kissed. I do. I've kissed. I think I've probably kissed more guys than I have girls. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> well, you know, we, know, we, know, we just don't know. Um, we're not here to talk about that. So. Yeah. Okay. So now we're, we're, we're going to lead on to where we... <laughs> <laughs> so where where are we? What are we doing? What are we thinking? Just a bro moment of uh, us hashing it out, I guess. You are this... Beautiful ripped oh, specimen. Stop. Like, look at you. My posture. You need to work, work on it. As I got older, I got fatter. You just get better looking. Your oh, face, your body, everything. Those earrings. Same, you're still the same beautiful guy I know. Oh, thank you. But uh, you have been doing a plant-based diet, correct? 
Okay, and so I mean, really, I like claim based. No, but just what? What do you do, and why? And why? Really, why? Um. Well, I, I guess I made the choice. I, I grew up on a farm. I grew up around uh, uh, eating animals, slaughtering animals, all that kind of stuff. I, I raised hogs, raised cattle, all that stuff. Um, the reason why I did it is maybe I, I was dating somebody who already was a vegetarian for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And I cooked a lot. Um, I like to help out cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was very easy to like kind of transition into it. And so I was already kind of cooking this stuff. Like, as I was, like, growing up, mm-hmm. becoming a little bit more understanding of what I was going through when I was in my younger years. So, like, I'm a very compassionate, sympathetic guy. I didn't like doing certain things on the farm that had to do with, like, what pretty much ends up being the slaughter of, like, animals. and Oh, yeah. The, and the, just to eat meat. And uh, so I used that, um, basically, the as, like, my two driving points of, like, Hey, I'm gonna try out this diet. I'm, I don't like so, I don't like doing this to animals. Let me just try it. So the the two points being, your your girlfriend got you the idea. Uh, yeah. And so then I was introduced also, to it. Yes. Um, okay. It, like it, it was very we eat meat and potatoes in my family all all my life. Did she did did she? I'm not I'm not I'm trying not to word this in a way like did she push you or did she like uh, talk to you? Me for sure. I, I believe highly still of her to this day, and um, so like. Her making this choice kind of kind of woke me up mm-hmm. and made me realize when like I, I it was taking it down like the whole stretch of the timeline to just be like here it is okay dude, look at look at look at look what you did like uh-huh. what we said no 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 you're completely okay you're not doing anything but you went oh, oh listen oh, this yeah, is yeah, serious go, now <laughs> I'm a pretty tall guy guys so like I'm coming in here and I'm, I'm ready to knock stuff over yay one one small movement for me is one giant movement for him you, you actually look taller. It's because I'm definitely sitting back, so I look taller, and I also am on a ledge right here, so I'm I'm totally buying an inch. It's like, yeah, I'm mm, buying an inch. I, I will... get it. It's your podcast. <laughs> no, so so you you got the idea, then you then you started. So small. I like, reflected back on like my timeline of like, oh, I remember like I I hated I I, I could work, but I hated the chore of like going and getting a hog like who was like sleeping, and I'd have to sit there and like. Uh, oh, I'd go yeah, up and I, yeah. I'd be the guy that would go up and, like wake him up rather than my cut somebody that I see or like uh, uh, people in that community like they sit there and then they beat on them like get them up and it's just like that's traumatic enough where like I didn't see it but now like I see of like well, I didn't like to do that why mm-hmm. why am I doing why am I supporting that yeah like I want I I know for me one of the worst feelings ever is being like a little kid sitting in the back seat of your car grabbing your fucking booger putting it in your sister's ear and then looking over and the the hog truck comes by with 9 million of them in there and they're just putting their little noses out oh, the yeah, little you, holes you're, you're a little kid you're like oh they're so cute yeah you know, and then so cute. and then people try not to explain to you what's really right, going it's on hidden. um so like, yeah it kind of woke me up this whole transition and that's what i kind of want to do like i don't care if people eat me mm-hmm. uh, i think i believe in more minimalistic more than anything or so like a little bit of anything isn't bad too much of anything is bad um so if you're like even able to do that like take another animal's life then i'm just like feel free to hunt you know feel free that's a that's the proper oh, the i think most, it's we talk about all human, time humane way of like doing that is being able to kill it process it do it yourself during uh, seasonal time or like you know what I mean like what what's some restrictions did you see the status I posted uh, a few weeks ago Mm-mm. so I was driving on the back road Is it Twitter because I don't do Twitter no no I don't I we only do Twitter because people say oh you gotta put it, it on Twitter great for and I have no idea what to do with it I, I even described it I think in the last podcast is the little bird thing came up because okay. <laughs> I'm like an old person it, the, the sponge the sponge man and the pokemans like that's what I was yeah. doing with Twitter a little Pidgeotto <laughs> but I was a couple blocks over that way in the country and right in the middle of the road was three freshly cut off deer heads right yeah. right in the dead center of the road and like I like you said and what I believe I respect hunters I respect what they do what they think Use the meat, you know. But whoever did that is a just purely disgusting human being. And sure. if, if if you if 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 by the chance you're the sick motherfucking piece of shit that 
and you're listening to this, I fucking hate you. And I hope you know that. I think you should make better choices. And oh, you know, sorry. it's a strong <laughs> It's a strong word. You know, I, I I'm trying not to be an extremist. Like when you sit on the other side, you you see you put them in the like vegan. In the dead center of the road stacked. Oh yeah. I mean there's there's Ted that's Ted are Bundy. Completely wrong decisions uh compared to the fact of I think a lot of people aren't making the wrong decisions. They're just not uh shown the decisions they can make. Uh-huh. We look at it as like, oh, we're just going to go get fast food. We're going to go do the blah, 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 blah. quick, 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 high processed, high, uh, just not natural food. And the, the best food you can hit is like natural food. I mean, I mean, I hate to admit this, but growing up, my favorite food was a McRib. I waited all oh. year. And to find out what a, what a McRib really is, is a bunch of cut up organs mashed up into this beautiful little patty covered in barbecue sauce and the barbecue so- sauce usually sells it you know what i mean like you could but you, know, you could do so many different uh, substitutions for what that chopped up uh carcass was and get a freaking fire ass mcrib <laughs> but we just we're sitting here and like we we're almost like just we forgot there's i i i really do that's why when we talked about it i would love to stop you know, at least whether or not I can, I'm a person who could stop eating meat, I would love to cut way the have hell you, have back. Have you tried the Impossible Burger? Oh my God, it's so funny you say this because Timory's bringing you an Impossible Burger home Shut right now. Front door, dude, dude. She's like, "What should you I bring?" She says, "I'm gonna bring him an Impossible oh, I'm Whopper." Uh, no, we don't deserve you. And hey, I'm taking a shot if I you want to. You. Okay, perfect. Okay. And so, while you crack uh, that uh, open... I might switch this around first, so I can get like, a little flavor. Oh, yeah, you, you're absolutely okay. That was why it was put there in the first place. But for the next moment, I'm going to tell you about one of our sponsors. This episode is sponsored by Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies. Hey, you heard she has a heart. She's bringing an Impossible Whopper over for you. And guess what? You want to know what else she can do? She can make a cake that looks like an Impossible Whopper. Because that's how damn talented she is. If you need a cake, cupcake, cookies, by the best, I mean, I... I, Can I get a cake burger? Like, I mean, that looks like a cake? She can pretty much make everything in the world. I believe that. I will show you her pictures. She's so talented. Visit Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies on Facebook and Instagram today. And while he's over there trying to get this crystal light packet open, I'm going to go into conspiracy kimonos. Hey, me and Gooch may go upstairs and want to wrestle it out. I'm going to be like, I'm... The I'm the cow or the pig, and then you're going to be the meat eater, and we're going to fight. We're going to fight it Who's out. Who's going to win? If I've got a gi on, I might. If you've got a gi on, you might. That's why you should visit Conspiracy Kimonos today and get your custom-made gi for jiu-jitsu. Very Did I say custom-made gi? Your form, your size-fitted gi for jiu-jitsu. Visit Conspiracy Kimonos on Facebook, and we're going to take a shot because this is Shot 30 Podcast. Thank you for letting me, me be here, Shane. Man, I just talked a million miles an hour. That was I really know, good. I impressive. I feel like I should I be... I thought the, I was like listening to an ad on YouTube. I felt like I should have been on the end of like a um, one of those uh, supplements or medicines. Well, this this could cause you side effects of seizures, heart failure, uh, conjunctivitis, uh, two weeks without peeing, erectile Everything dysfunction. We, we, we got this poison <laughs> we go. inside. Man, Cheers, we go. man. Cheers. I feel like you, that took a long time, so I'm gonna do another. It's like a. It's got the physics of like a boot. The, that's what I was gonna boot? say. Like, roll, 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 roll. I knew you'd be a boot and guy. Like turn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the. Sh- I've seen uh, what was it? Uh, Oktoberfest. I've seen no, October. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we got a couple callers. We're gonna hit the callers. Is, but before we completely get away from it, what would be some small adjustments that you would think just could help i mean people think oh i'm not going to eat cucumber and um but you can make food into something completely different some good are you talking about like uh um alternatives okay so some good alternatives um there's there's all sorts of ones like beans are are gonna be like your top ones beans and like peas and stuff like that um 
I, I like, like to, uh, like, just re regular, regular substitutes to get, like, protein, are you talking? Or, like, just, like, like certain types, types of meats? I mean, ju I mean ju just delicious meals. Oh, yeah. Something that's just... Like, like cashew. Cashews can be turned in, like, grinded up with uh, turmeric, coriander, uh, a couple other little garlic mustard, a couple other little things that uh, you can make a beautiful cheese out of. So, like, when you're making a lasagna, uh -huh. instead of, like... You, if you like uh, nuts, nuts are really good for proteins and okay. fats. And see, so you can which actually is, is you, what you're missing out on. So like you can you don't eat meat. You can turn like uh a, like nuts into something that would be like a hamburger. Literally a cream. No, like a oh, like oh, a oh, spread oh. almost, like a cheese. So what would be what would be what is what they is it just tofu that they use? No, to? tofu is like the most bland, the most like originally I, it's the, thought it's, of. It's like, the very first thing that everybody I, uneducated. I, I only eat tofu and. <laughs> I only eat, that's, that's why we're here. I only uh, eat tofu unless I go to like restaurants where they're like deep fry it. So it's like almost crispy uh -huh. or like a tougher edge. Ooh, and like that that. I go to a Thai spot. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really good. And uh, they do, they do it really very well. Otherwise I don't use it. Like I use uh, tofu to do an egg substitute in the morning. So like having scrambled eggs and then you just have like, you know, add like some sort of creamy, like there's vegan butter and all sorts of stuff. So like you, that. you don't eat eggs or you do? I don't eat eggs. Okay. No, no dairy. Uh, usually you need processed from an animal. Okay. You know what I got? You, you I'm, No cheese, no milk. Okay. I don't, I don't, I complete, so you don't eat fish. I do not. Okay. I had one bite of fish when I went out to Hawaii because there's a local surfer dude that like, they, they like traditionally catch them and like uh -huh. eat them out there. and he's like you gotta try this certain type of fish I understand and I was just like I'll try the smallest little piece I usually don't like fish too much especially if it's raw and this is a raw fish he caught out of the ocean he taught me how to surf so it's like I feel like I owe the dude uh, yeah, some like and he, oh yeah some respect you, uh, and especially you don't want to offend somebody like yeah, that exactly. yeah exactly and I don't and think it, he was gonna be offended if I said no but yeah but I, I think it's so mind blowing when people are like I don't eat animals but then they're eating fish. Yeah. Like, I, I quit fishing. Everybody I knew grew, fit, grew up fishing. I quit fishing when I was super young because I just hated the fact that I'm putting a hook in to something's oh, face and then putting it oh, back in there. Like, oh, man, the that was fun. The more you think about it. I just, the more you actually think about it, the more it's like... Why? You're putting literally shit on the end of lures to catch a catfish, and then you're eating that catfish that you fed the fucking shit lure? What if I thought it was funny right now to- And you're saying yum? To grab like a sickle and put it through your mouth. And then I, we giggle, I take it out, and then, what do you do? Do maybe you sit for some, like, BDSM bondage play, maybe, but... Yeah, yeah, but that's just a but gag that's, like, ball. that's, sensual. Yeah. So it's, like, yeah. so a lot of it is, like, un... Like, you're... People are producing these animals, not even like na naturally living animals. You're not seeing these people like you. People hunt deer. Uh huh. That's like a naturally living animal that we're not reproducing and blah blah blah. Uh -huh. So like, there's good restrictions on that. Like I don't think they should take away the option to hunt or blah blah blah, killing of animals like that when you're surviving. Like, you're out in Alaska or something. Uh huh. We're out in the middle of pretty much where like everything's circulated and generated around certain little hubs, and there's just mass production plants that are like these animals are going through cycles that are only being uh, made or born to uh, kill and eat, and like it's just very weird. It's a it's a weird process when you think about it. Yeah, I, no, no, I, I mean I'm I'm literally like hardcore thinking about it. I you should try it for like one week. I mean, I would say like two weeks. So like, one week's gonna give you like a shift. You're gonna be like, oh, I have a shift in my body. But you're only gonna really experience like the not negative symptoms, but the sudden symptoms. The the thing that th the thing that I know I would be able to do is taper back, maybe meal meal one, meal two. You, you know, if if I if I'm really thinking about it, maybe, but at least just start tapering back meals you know as you just snap your fingers and boom you'd like flash into a different world oh no i forgot to I, do I, this or do I that very well over a, uh, a period of time i had cravings i was like oh i remember what it was like to eat greasy chicken uh -huh. i gotta have me some greasy chicken you know, and those cravings will come up. So like you're, you're it saying, just, like, it just came up right now. You, right now, you're comfortable with like maybe I'll I'll take two two days out of the week where I'll I'll, I'll substitute. 
eventually those cravings are going to go away and you're going to feel so good from what you're actually putting in your body. That That's gonna, the, the cravings will eventually go away. You'll crave something else. We we actually did have one email about the um, plant-based, uh, the diet, how you feel, this and that. And it, it was about Cam Newton and Cam Newton being... Was he plant-based? Yeah, he, okay. he switched over this year and now he spent the whole year hurt. And that's also a thing with athletes. So many have flourished and so many have also said that I think I blame it on my diet. But I think it's just like anybody else in the world. If you grab a group of people who's eating meat, half of them, if they're playing professional sports, half are going to be hurt. The other half... I, life, I, is life, life is balanced. Life is balanced. You know? Yeah, I, I think as long as you have a good helping of fireball, yeah. everything... You can forget about anything if you have fireball... And don't for forget the water, you have to balance with the water. No, that's not. That's completely false. Like if you take twenty <laughs> shots of Fireball, that's still twenty shots of Fireball in your gut. Right. <laughs> but, but if you want to feel okay the next morning, if you drink twenty bottles of water, I, I just, I, I feel like everything is so irrelevant that it's just one case happens. One person dies from drinking water. Oh, is water bad for us? You know, like. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I th th there's so many, there's so many small little details to so many things. It'll, if eating tomatoes gives you cancer, I mean, I guarantee I can Google search it right now and and pull Science studying or something. And something on. and I think I think what one first of all. I think you're one of the coolest dudes I've ever met, oh. especially like, lie, so yeah. when I've told everybody that you were coming on the podcast today, it's like a different level of excitement to, for me. And two, I think you, you're always so smooth with everything you do. So you making a transition like this, one is awesome. Two, it influences people that you don't even realize. And three, it could really help out a lot of people. And uh, I really appreciate you saying that. Um, you already know I respect you and think highly of you. Uh, we met like very young, and we just kind of bonded over each other. Oh, like, we're gonna we're gonna each other out in the crowd like, hey you, hey you. We're gonna talk about our respect towards each other in okay. just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> So like uh so that's why I kind of do it like I don't like to point fingers at anybody. Um, I grew up all all my family still eats at Thanksgiving. Like they're like, what are you gonna eat? What should I cook for you? And like the, that's like not even what it originally was. It was like, you're not gonna survive because you're not eating enough meat or protein. Like and I, I I'm doing this as like a, a lead by example. But uh, kind of how you're saying you envision me as like oh it's I'm glad that he's able to do it. And then I, I, I want to give that shock value, like, oh, if it, I feel comfortable with Gooch doing it and like listening to him talking about it, and if he's like comfortable with it, I, I might try it out a couple times. And that's what it, that's what it's all about. And I know also for me too, I could send you a message, be like, dude, I'm dumped right now. Give me something delicious to eat. I'll, what do I'll, I I'll be honest with you too. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit around you and just like saying it's gonna be easy quitting. Oh yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. know, like it's gonna be easy, like. Even the, it affects the people you're around. You huh? know what I mean? So, oh, yeah. Um, there's an idea that I have, like, around myself that I like to be empath empathetic or like to show people, like to kind of be like a leader. Um, so I, I, I kind of use that as like a, a little bit more like of a drive. Like it gives me a little inspiration. Sometimes I'm like, you, you know, like, what am I really doing here? Uh -huh. like, and I've already made the choice. Like I'm not going like, going back and be like, I'm just going to eat steak all day. Because uh -huh. I know, uh, like, it's not that I wouldn't eat steak. It's like I know that what that kind of uh, entails if I'm going to say I'm going to eat steak all day. Uh -huh. And uh, I want there to be a difference. I want this world has gotten boring and kind of like mundane and kind of that's blah. that's why you're like, sitting in my basement with these lights and this. It's just things are so blah. Yeah. So like no, no, it is cool uh, um, that you that you do the podcast thing. You know, uh, I, I watch your stuff and <laughs> it's it, it's usually it's way my more. way to keep up with someone like he, he, even that I grew up with very closely. It, you know. Dude, I just think he's the fucking coolest guy in the world. I'm just sitting here like you, you're. Take another I, drink. I'll something. take another. I'll take another drink. The one, the one thing, and I, I, I think this is probably like the longest stretch of serious this podcast has ever been. But the one thing that does the studies, the the research, 
after we talked about it, I spent some time looking some stuff up. The one thing that does kind of bug me, and I think that it's something that it's not, is childhood malnutrition through, you know, growing up with a plant-based diet. And I don't know. I may be wrong, but I also think, too. It's scary. It could also be a thing for these children that their parents aren't actually supplying them with everything they really that's, do need. That's probably more of what's true. Because I, I 100% don't know. And, and, and there's something like, like I feel good and like I, I could tell you all this stuff and you know maybe in five years you hear that I died malnutrition. You know what I mean? Which I, which I don't think this is the case at all. I think that people need to kind of research whatever they're eating. And it, it drives you a little bit more when you're, when you're looking at the back for ingredients of like, I shouldn't eat this. Uh-huh. Like, I shouldn't eat this. So, so you kind of like, you're pushing yourself to get this knowledge of what you should eat and what you should not eat. And um, I, don't, I don't know. I, get, I, I, don't, I don't know where I was going with that really, I guess. I think where you're going with it is... You're a beautiful human being. And I am going to take a shot, but this okay. one is 100% to you. Okay. You in on this one or yeah, not? I'm, in on I, this. I'm not Thank you, I'm not I'm not peer pressuring. I did line up one more than I thought you would take on this podcast. But we are cooking along right now. This is probably going to be the longest episode without a hiccup. And so I'm just going to let you know out there everybody. This podcast is probably going to grow a little bit ridiculous from this point on. Thank you for watching. That's Thank true. you for listening. And thank you for being here. God dang. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a decent amount of liquor for me. But uh, I think it's all the hype and anticipation. It's just building us up. It's something about the beautiful circle light that just does something to people. It's like it illuminates your skin like the sun would. So it's UV rays, you know? I went live on Twitch one time and drank a whole bottle of tequila. Hey, why I pull this... Oh, God. Me and Tim Reed drank a whole bottle of tequila down here. And then we cracked open the next. It was the most ridiculous episode. I, I think we I think we were, like, tongue-fucking each other for a little bit. Excellent. <laughs> it was, we, we, talk, were talking, we were talking... We were going to wrestle, man. Yeah. <laughs> we were way out there. We were way out there. And it was excellent. I mean, it's, it's fun. You know, and we're just dro- having fun here. Drop your uh, Twitch handle. Okay. Because I know some people, I already know of three people that are instantly going to okay. your account. Yeah, uh, twitch.tv. Um, it's a video game platform. I stream video games every once once in a while. But I do just chatting too, which is almost like a podcast based, but more of like just a, a quick interaction what? with the community. What game you play? Um, I, I play Fortnite. Uh, I played World of Warcraft Classic. I uh, got my, they re-released it, I got my uh, level 60 in like a couple weeks, so I was playing the shit on that. I played Rocket League, um, those are good games where I can like just go and play for a minute and then Xbox or PlayStation? Uh, PC. Oh, you play on the computer, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I play with the Xbox controller, so I don't like take it too seriously. Oh, okay. You know, like, there, there's some PC games that are better with the mouse and keyboard, but uh. Yeah, because we had, we had a group, we had it set up, but then... It all went downhill from there because we couldn't we couldn't figure it out. I'll get you set up. Um, so guys, uh, Twitch.tv slash Gucci Booya, and that's uh, two O's C H I E Booya, two O's. Booya. All right, so we're gonna take. <laughs> we're gonna take. We had two callers. We had two callers, and so we're gonna take these, and we'll roll forward from there after this. Are they going to hit us with questions? Hey guys, this is Dion down in Memphis. Hey, What's and up, I Dion? just wanted to ask you, Shane, um, and whoever you may have on the show today, well, my girlfriend and I have been having some issues. She says that I'm too big. <sighs> too big, like my, my pecker. And I was just curious how I should go about it. Like, what should I do? What, if you guys have ever went through the same thing, and how you guys handled the situation. Thank you, Shaw 30. 
Hey, thank you for calling in. And that is a problem. <laughs> you know? Oh, I, mean, I think all males question themselves at one point. How uh, big am I? Like, God. Am I big enough, I, dude? I, I think the problem is, like, like, guys like us look at the women like, are we going to kill them? Like, <laughs> <laughs> You throw him under the bus, dude, and tell everybody in school or oh, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think? Uh, what should we tell this guy? Dion, he's got a huge penis. Not surprising. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> with a name like that. Uh, it just sounds like an excellent dude. Um, I definitely want to bring him around my girlfriend. <laughs> That's uh, saying I... I Penis size, size does not matter. You're just, it's, uh... Well, it sounds like his it, girlfriend doesn't oh, like if it. If it's too big, I've heard of too big. Uh, too small is definitely a thing, too. But, like, uh, I think they're overthinking it. I, I, I yeah. What do you mean? Like, is he shoving that whole thing in? Is yeah, it just, you, like, the end of the tip? I think, I think Dion's being a little bit too aggressive. There's a thing called fingers, bro. Hello, there's a thing called lube, bro. Just the tip, my man. <laughs> yeah, dude, just take it easy, man. Don't, don't just... <laughs> just don't chill out, dude. Not everybody was born with a Louisville slugger on the end of fucking appendix. Dude. Good God. So, Dion, I mean, hey, thank you for calling in. We love you, but <laughs> you're going to have to yeah, handle that yourself. have a big dick, doesn't it, dude? <laughs> At least you let everybody else know, so if, yeah. if someone out there is in... In love with that. You, he, he the lady's looking for someone smaller. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to take the second caller here. Hey, boys. It's your girl, Julia. Hey, Julia. And I just wanted to say I love Shop 30. And it gets me through my night at work. I put in my earbuds with my boy until it be talking just so I can listen to you guys. And I just want to ask, have you guys ever masturbated to something really weird? I just, I'm, I guess I'm asking for a friend. So, I love shot 30. Drink up, boys. Damn, she said drink up, boys. I'll take a shot, Julia. Thank you for calling oh, in. Hey, this is the next one. I'm going to have to have like... <laughs> you, you, a detox? A I don't know. <laughs> I give you a ride home if no, you no, need. No, 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 I, go, no. I, I go back we'll to Kiwani first water, thing in the morning. Do some breathing up. And, you know. <laughs> but he's not going to drive home. Don't worry. Because we okay. don't drink and drive. Never. Hey, Julia, this one's for you. Thank you for calling in. Thank you, Julia. You taste them. Go, 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 go. So, what's the. Um, so, uh, Julia. So, I've never really masturbated to something weird because as soon as I. Um, uh, you know, like everything that I'm masturbating to, I'm obviously into. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm not going to think it's weird. You know, to, to me, it's not weird. But I've been to the point where I'm scrolling through, you're sitting there, and you're like trying to get the next best thing, and you just get rerouted. Oh, yeah. And you say, oh, yeah, wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, what's going on here? And uh, that's where it's gotten a little weird, and then you're almost, you're almost in like that deep spiral. But but, but we need... We so, I mean, need you're trying to get out of there, and you click, well, since you clicked on that video... Oh, now you're dug now, deep. Now it's like <laughs> dug you like... <laughs> Now you've clicked on the wrong foot pedal video, and now you're watching dudes in NASCAR like just really go, try to go as fast as they can. And, like you're watching little little rabbits, like oh yeah, uh, yeah. not rabbits, obviously. I mean, so so, <laughs> so the worst thing you ever masturbated to is foot pedals and rabbits. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that came out. I, Excellent, actually. I, I uh, totally yeah, uh, nightmares. Um, <laughs> Easter was never the same. I um, can tell you that I had a group of a couple of friends that said, "Hey, let's have a competition to see who could, you know, you can judge me. You know, I'm a grown man, but beat my dick. You know, like wh why? Why would I need to restrict what I'm saying here? Took two girls, one cup, the fastest, <laughs> and I won. I won every time." <laughs> I've won every time. I'm the under the thrill. That's where the I got the thrill of them challenging you. I feel like if someone challenges you, Shane. You might turn it down. You're, you're going in full force. I don't know. Maybe it was the swishing of the poop in the mouth. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, but I'm okay. It was the two girls, one cup. Then it's definitely uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. 
when they were swishing and then spitting it and like I don't know every time I'm like finish line and then look that's back. why you gave me these you're literally listening for the gurgle <laughs> yeah, like, it's like kind of this thing you know it's just a little thing I don't know but hey four shots one gooch dude after those Jesus freaking Christ. weird weird uh, callers hey we're gonna uh, go into one of our sponsors who's a little bit quirky and have you ever needed a male escort in the Quad City slash Chicago area well, Jerome Lovely's out there, and he's not a prostitute. Quit thinking that. What he is there for is companionship. He will bring you companionship. You need a date for Christmas? It's coming up. How about New Year's? A great-looking guy to bring you companionship. Hey, not just you know, not just guys are looking for a date. Girls are too, or some other guys are looking for another man. For a companionship. Is this a sponsor like a single dude putting an advertisement? In he, like, it's um, not one cool. singular person. Jerome Lovely is an organization. Oh, okay. And yes, they do sponsor the podcast, and we thank them for it. So visit Jerome Lovely on Facebook today if you need a male escort. Hey, and watch the fireworks come New Year's Eve. And Are maybe, they hiring? I, I don't know, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't dig too far into yeah, things. No, it's great. It's great, it's great, it's great. <laughs> but, so I did want to talk about the Tri-County Beer Club. Okay. You can step and, back. I need to step back? Yeah, yeah. The Beer Club. Uh, it's Tri-County Booze Cruisers. Okay. Okay. The Beer Club kinds, you know, that sounds a little... I oh, guess it does sound like breakfast breakfast club. So yeah, like, okay. So I was PGing it. No, I'm just kidding. I was yeah. I was totally PG. Yeah, yeah. You should have hit me right now. Yeah, I mean, if this was in the past, I don't recommend uh, booze cruising to anybody. But like, you that's what we did. You Take had the coolest. You had the coolest click, and I wanted to be a part of that click. Shut the front door. Dude. I I did so bad. You have to do an initiation when I kick you right between your nuts, dude. You, I'm telling the initiation. Okay. The the initiation was I meet up with old Gooch and his buddies. And I walk in. I'm like, what are we doing tonight, boys? And they're like, initiation. You know, we've had people see how much beer we can steal. Oh, yeah, I'm going there. I'm totally going there. How much beer we can steal from a party. So we pull up to this party in said town. I'm not going to say the town because they're probably still looking for us. And uh, we had a case of beer or something like that. And so you walked over, handed everybody a beer. Do you know what I'm talking? You know what I'm talking about, right? I, I, yes, yes, I do remember what you're talking about. You handed everybody a beer and said, "We're gonna chug them." And so, while you we were, were talking, when you were talking we were to everybody, away. I was throwing everyone's coolers into the back of our truck. So I had probably a hundred plus beers. I remember there was deli meat inside the beers. There was handles of booze inside. I remember the, this the, night because we were very far away. And I had gotten hit up about this party. And we went over to this party. And I'm like, I'm loving the vibe. Anytime that me and you were together, obviously we are partying. Oh, dude. So, like, we're at this party. And I, I, I just remember that I didn't like the vibe that was going on there. It was very So, we want, yeah, we, we were like, because we invited to this party. And we're obviously very far away. No one knew who we were. So, we were out here just trying to enjoy, like, beer pong game or cheers to everybody. And I do remember the, the fact into- that, like, we just got to... It turned into Shane initiation. Go steal everybody's beer. <laughs> like, and I, did. I don't recommend stealing. No, it doesn't steal from anybody. That was in the just... past, though, when stealing and stuff was okay. Yeah, I mean, and now in today's were... world, you got to be careful. But now this is a story that you don't know. Have you ever heard of the cleanup crew, TCUC? No. My senior year of high beautiful. school, which uh, Anna ones was really bad. <laughs> You know, like Ooh. homecoming week. You know, like <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble homecoming week. Well, th- you were a year ahead. The one after that was that was the one that was really oh, yeah, oh, yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, we, me, and a handful of misfits, little misfit toys for that Christmas drop. But me and a handful of misfit toys called ourselves TCUC, the cleanup crew. Oh. So after my senior class went out and they spray painted the doors and they went in and moved all the desk and moved books and this and that, me and a group of people had Windex and Lysol wipes. Oh my God. And we cleaned it all up. So it was immaculate come morning. They're like, 
my whole senior class was – I mean, they. I've never been invited to a class reunion to this day. So that's two. That's I mean, amazing. I've had two at this point, and I've not been invited. And it's all because of t- – <clears throat> Booze Cruise Club. <laughs> we called ourselves the these. club. Dude. There's no club, dude. We're just fucking guys having fun. Yeah, it was just a bunch of gangsters out there, yeah, and that's dude. what we were doing. And I literally have a tattoo of it, though. Gang shit. No. Dude, I have. I did a tattoo on my own leg. You have a tattoo gun? Yeah, I have all the, everything upstairs. Will you do a tattoo on my foot? I absolutely refuse to do tattoos after I've had even one shot, but I will absolutely do it any other time you want. Well, why are you. You're you're not receiving the shot or the tattoo. You're giving it to me. I know, but I took the shot, so I'm the one giving the tattoo. Oh, okay. no, yeah, no, I will no, do it no. any other time. Absolutely. Oh, okay. You mean but like I can't. This kind of shot. I thought you meant like a shot shot. Oh yeah, yeah. So what I gotta say is, I'm not actually doing tattoos illegally from my home. That's just a joke. But yeah, I'll absolutely do it. Okay. Yeah, a henna tattoo. Whatever. I've been looking for someone to give you a tattoo, and I'm like, dude, I'll, I wish I had my own ink gun. Oh, yep. We have we have multiples. We have. Uh, well, henna tattoo guns, you know what I'm saying? You know, like those. Uh, Would you ever get a tattoo on your goods? I get a tattoo whatever, wherever, whenever. Right. I have a tattoo of the Iron Sheik on my back. How many tattoos do you have? Uh, I think three. I want Timory to put a tattoo of my lips on her butthole. <laughs> okay, so I have like I, mean, I think sounds, I like it. <laughs> it sounds very nice. But that was the most that's the greatest level of silence I've ever sounds reached. Like Shane's eating ass, dude. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. No, a kiss. Oh. Yeah. Just because oh, I your lips. just because I kissed Timmy's mouth doesn't mean I'm Ed Gein. Doesn't okay. mean I'm gonna eat her face. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I think I have. I definitely projected that. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, I think I nine no ten eleven I have eleven eleven tattoos yeah I've got them all over the place nice. I think all of them other than one or two I drew myself yeah and that's not saying you're, much you're an artist I, I, that's something I didn't know see I'm I, I'm learning more about you like I I've always known like that you're just you're a fucking walking highlight reel Shane I love you. <laughs> Those brown eyes I could stare into all night. <laughs> I just love you. <laughs> the redder your face gets, the better, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, I, 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 for real. I don't know how to say it enough. I am so happy you came here. I'm. So, I don't know how we hit such a level of serious for so long. We, this is going to be an unclipped podcast. Of 50 minutes, which is already a record. And I feel like I could sit here and talk to you for so much longer. The only, the only thing I ask is highlight or uh, uh, let's just highlight it. Yeah. I was going to say edit out the part where I just totally forgot what we were talking about because we're just a couple buddies getting slammed. But honestly, this has been great. This has been like, I, I want to know more about you. I want to be involved in this podcast more. I did, dude. So if, if anybody ever has questions. Me, uh, feel free, dude. He, 100%. 100%. He, and he's not just joking. He's being 100% honest. And Please. we are doing, me and Calvin Reed, we're doing a spinoff podcast. It's going to be called Black and White TV. Okay. It's, it's kind of this thing where so many people of so many colors and thoughts have, you know, like just hatred. And me and Calvin, we want to sit across from each other and... And maybe just let you open up your mind and think in every way possible. Because I don't care. I just want everybody to love each other. It's not that you don't care. I think it's. I do care. I I do care. That you care so much that you have such an an open uh, heart to like just anything and everything. Um, I just hate when people jump to instant hate. Like when it's just instant, well, you did this because of this. You know, like you have no idea why. Well, it's easy. Like you, I mean, you're uh, you're a Bears fan, and uh, I'm a Packers fan. And we all, we all seem like and this is Shot Thirty Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I just not now. All the viewers hate me. If they yeah. some sort of like me, they're like, "Oh, no, no, throw out the window." No, there's I'm only been kidding. a couple. Wait, what's happening? I think this camera's turning because now it's showing more of my fat. Maybe me piddling with my dinky. It's, it's probably me, much. like, knocking it. <laughs> I, got, I got such high knees, man. Um, 
I used to be in the marching band, dude. Oh, yeah, no, you did. Did you? No. no I was going to say, no, you didn't. No. But, uh, hey, I want to say thank you all for watching, listening, and subscribing and sharing. Because every time you guys share this video, it reaches a whole different audience of people. So thank you for being here. And keep this little thought, this little dream alive as we roll forward. This little shot 30 podcast dream rolls forward. And I would love to do anything crossover with you. Please. Any day. Please. Shane. This is us air hugging and maybe even a hair, air kiss. I said hair kiss because I was staring at your hair because I'm so jealous that I've I don't do I this too at the often. Just to make sure, like, Look at this. Okay with those guys, if I kissed you, you can kiss me. I'm gonna kiss to end this yeah. podcast. Are we gonna kiss to end this podcast? Okay, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <Is that> okay? <laughs> Should we kiss into the mic? And okay, then... fine. I was literally just thinking about whether or not I'm gonna give you a kiss on that big old face. I I, <laughs> <laughs> I love you and that. Let's think of an idea. We'll drop it on the next podcast and roll from it. We we want to do spinoffs of Shot Thirty. It could be we'll call it we we could call it whatever you want, okay. anything you want. The hair and the stare, it's hot 30. or the it's hair hot, and the snare. I feel like I'm very hot. I told you it it was so cold when it started in here, and it still it's is. True. But our bodies are heated All up. All my wiggles have turned into like warm comfort of cuddles. All my wiggles have turned into <laughs> jiggles, dude. Yeah. I love you. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe. Shot 30 Podcast. Do it. Peace.